In this video now, I'm gonna tell you how you can extend the life of any motorcycle by just following five simple rules. So if you have nothing to do, grab your favorite drink and stay with me. Welcome back. Even though our opinion may be different on many topics, I am absolutely sure that every one of you will agree that when we travel, reliability is something very important, right? A possible technical problem on the road is something that stops many people of traveling alone, especially in remote areas. And they are afraid that if the motorcycle stops, everything stops. There is a famous phrase saying that there are no problems, only solutions. But even though I never wanted to rely only on this mantra, for me, reliability has always been number one priority during my trips. You might say, Pavlin, you always worry so much, you can call me even a pessimist, but do you know what is the difference between pessimists and optimists? The pessimists just got more information. In my opinion, it will be always better to avoid problems instead of waiting until they happen and then try to fix them on the road. Did I mention that it's going to be even cheaper? Before I start with the rules, I would like to tell you something very important and I hope that you will listen with open mind. Reliability cannot be achieved by making changes or adding different parts or elements on your motorcycle after you already bought it. The model that you are riding already has it from the factory or not. And all the money that you can spend after that cannot change the simple fact. Reliability, reliability, reliability. Sorry, my English. Anyway, I assume that you already got a motorcycle, which is means that you already made your choice and now you have to live with the decisions, right? But don't worry, the rules that I have promised, they will help you with any bike. So let's finally begin. Number one, stop adding this so-called adventure accessories. By cutting cables or adding additional fuses, you actually compromise the strength of your electric system, electric installation. And most of these things that you can order online today are with questionable quality and just because it works fine for one person or 20 people does not mean automatically that it will be alright for everyone. The less aftermarket accessories you have on your motorcycle, the better chances of travel-free trip you're going to have in the future. I know that many will not agree with me on this topic, but I really don't mind. As I said in the previous video, all the final decisions and possible benefits or consequences after that will be only yours. Also, nowadays all motorcycle comes with at least one 12 volt socket so I don't see any reason to have another one and another one to connect so many different things until you convert your dashboard as a Christmas tree. Number two, don't try to make the impossible possible. You're not Tom Cruise. I know that it might sound confusing but let me explain to you what I mean. 300cc cannot fly on the highway with 160 km per hour which is 100 miles per hour. 260 kg elephant is not designed to be ridden on the single dirt track. TNR 700 will never be KTM 1290 and many more similar analogies but I hope that you got the idea. It is very important to understand and learn the weak and the powerful sides of your model. Otherwise you're going to have very expensive and it might be even dangerous lessons. One of the reasons why my old TNR 660 got 193,000 km without any problems is because I never ridden it the way I shouldn't or the way it cannot hold. By the way, as you can see, I sold it last week. Great guy from Russia, he came here and picked it up with old Trabant car on a trailer. So I hope that this guy will finally make these 200,000 kilometers and send me a picture so I can show it to you. But he actually will give it a new life or a new nice riding time because here it was only standing and collecting dust. Number three, a proper maintenance is everything. But let's first find out what exactly is a proper maintenance. What is written in your manual or your mechanic told you or you know, well, it might be different for everyone. For example, changing the oil once per 10,000 kilometers it is not going to be enough for many models. Especially if you ride your motorcycle very hard in different weather conditions, cold, hot. If you race with this motorcycle, my suggestion is going to be always do it twice. 
maybe every 5000 kilometers. Also, I have heard people saying that you don't need to change the oil filter every time. You can do it every other time. What? The oil filter is the element that stops all of this garbage and rubbish that circulate around your oil system. If you don't change it, you clock it. And next time, it is not going to work properly. It will open the bypass and all of this will circulate and go everywhere around the system of your motorcycle. You're actually slowly killing your engine. So this is absolutely ridiculous advice. So as I said, my advice, change it once per 5,000 kilometers. If you need to travel on a long trip, as I did it now, I change it every nine or 10,000 kilometers. But I know how I use the motorcycle. I never ride it fast. I never go to high RPMs, so I can afford to change it now because the trip was too long. But when I am at home, I change I changed the oil every 5,000 kilometers. Also, you have to be very careful what kind of oil you use. So 10W40 might be all right for the winter or maybe spring, maybe autumn, but in the hot summer days, 30 degrees or plus even more, it might be not enough, depends on the engines, of course. So all of this is very subjective and you really need to find what exactly your model need. Bearings, dust and oil seals, chains, sprockets, drive shafts, air filters, suspension and linkage, spark plugs, brakes and clutch levers, cables also exist on your bike and could stop you from traveling anytime. So they deserve more attention as well. Also, a regular check on the oil and antifreeze levels on your motorcycle could save you a lot of problems on the road. I do it at least few times per day. When I stop somewhere on the petrol station or on the restaurant, I just put the motorcycle on the center stand and check it. It cost me just a few minutes. People always amaze me how they clean their motorcycles every day or every other day or three times per week. Pay attention to so many details, buying so many different products just to keep the motorcycle clean. And then change the engine oil once per 10,000 or 15,000 kilometers or in UK even once per 25,000 miles. Number four, try to control any riding situation. Early morning, when you start your engine, give it a minute to warm, idling on the place, and then ride it slowly until it reaches its optimal temperature. This is not going to kill your day or, or break your schedule with minute or two here and there, but it will repay with many travel-free kilometers. Another also very simple way to extend the life of your engine is never go to the red line of your RPM scale. It requires only one very simple movement, this one, just to slow down a little bit. And this will give you many benefits in the future. As I said, it will extend the life of your engine. The easiest way is to keep the arrow in the middle. If you have 10,000 RPMs, 5,000 is more than enough to ride fast and protect the engine. You can go even to 6,000, 7,000 here and there if you overtake. But in common, on long trips, on long days, on the highways, more than 5,000 is not necessary. Every time when you need to accelerate or brake, do it slowly, gently, especially when the weather is extremely hot or extremely cold. This will protect the engine of working very hard in these already hard conditions. And it will also save you money from petrol and brake parts. Number five, every machine works better when it's used. Did you ever ask yourself the question, why the taxi cars last so many kilometers? Because they are ridden all the time, basically non-stop, on two or three shifts. Now with this, I don't want to say that you have to ride your motorcycle non-stop, even though it's a good starting point. No, I'm joking. What I'm saying is that if you start your motorcycle once per month or, or once per two months, you cannot expect the same longevity from the same model that is ridden almost every single day. So the motorcycle that you have will definitely last many more years, but not many more kilometers, if you understand what I mean. When the motorcycle is not ridden for a long period of time, it is very, very bad. You're not protected this way. It's exactly the opposite. You destroy your motorcycle very slowly because everything inside gets really dry, seals, bearings, everything. It's not only the engine, it's also in your forks, in your bearings, everything gets absolutely dry, but the, the engine, of course, is the worst. And to start it once per week for 10-15 minutes on, on one place is not a solution at all. 
What you actually do, especially in the winter, you make the engine warm and then it gets cold and when it gets cold, it makes this condensation and condensation is water that creates rust inside of your engine. And when you leave it for a month or two and when you start it next time, all these elements inside will go with the rust and they will create some kind of inside damages and this will slowly, slowly kill your engine. That's why the solution is very simple. You just need to ride it more often for more than 15, 20 minutes. You just need to spend a couple of hours riding it. If it's very hot or very cold, all right, I understand. But then you don't have to have this long periods of time, like two, three, five or six months or even years without riding it, especially if you have a carburetor, you cannot even start it after that. This is one of the reasons why I believe that it is better to have one than many motorcycles, because one of them is always ridden more than another. And of course, here many will disagree. No, it is better to have motorcycle for everything, one for dirt riding, for one for touring, one for touring with two people. Yeah, I understand your points of view. But then one of these motorcycles will always stay. And if you can afford it, that's fine. No problem at all. Each one of these small things might sound very insignificant to you, but when you have them all together, they will ensure long and trouble-free life for your engine. For your information, during my life, I have changed many motorcycles and many cars. And I never broke an engine. Never ever. Because of all of the rules that I just told you. On some stage, I've got even car rental business with 34 cars for around 15 years. Never broke an engine as well. So all of this, everything that I told you, is my personal experience and I can stand behind my words. It's not the information on the internet that I just found right now and displayed to you. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. Press like or dislike, whatever the video deserves. If you subscribe, even better. See you next time. Ciao.